pigs everywhere on this property. This is the face of a disappointed hunter. Welcome back to episode 3. We start the episode with our leaders Team Steel in hot pursuit of their final species to close out the slam. Morning guys, Jono here. Uh, it's second morning. Um, we've come down here into the bottom of the property. We've just spotted some deer. Um, first deer we've seen actually. Um, and Rowan's just heading in to see if we can try and get one. That'll get us the slam. What happened? Uh, he dropped into some really big stuff. Hey, he's dropped into the big stuff. Okay. Good stuff to be doing there. Oh, yeah. That one at the back was looked like a nice buck. The middle? Yeah. yeah. Four or five does. Yeah. With the deer eluding Team Steel early first up this morning, they were right back in the action on their second opportunity to close out the slam, while Team Hurls still chasing goats. A little bit of patience, mate. Can't lose it from here. With a shot ringing out through the valley, breaking the early morning silence, Team Hurls were quick on the Zolio to see what was going on. It was a nervous wait for answers. Got a message from the guys saying they shot at a deer. We heard a gunshot. I just. Just go and stop. Down there. Down there. We've got guns. Down there. We've got guns. Down there. Anyway, we've got the shot. I sent a message off. As soon as they feel shot, I said, yes, deer. Next message. Congratulated him, and he got a message back saying he missed. <laughs> oh, we had a beautiful stand, silhouetted, about 50 meters, but didn't take the shot. It was in the scope, no problem. But it was skylined, and it's just not a mythical shot, so we had to let it go. Stood there perfectly for us for well, it would have been 20 seconds standing there. So we've had our chances, but now we're on to goats. What goats down here? Goats down here. We're looking at pigs over there. So we've seen the trifecta. We're onto the trifecta this morning, but let's go get these goats. But finding those goats was no easy task, and given the location on the other side of the steep gully. It was a risky sacrifice of time given the late stage of the competition. Just in case you hadn't had enough, here's some more pigs. And then just like that, a lone nanny appeared across the valley, and it was all on for Team Hurls. Alright, Team Hurls on the board again. Two species down. We've evened up the scores. So as luck would have it, bad luck on Team Steel's part, Team Hills was back in the race, tying up the slam with two species each. Following a quick breakdown session to take as much of the meat as we could, 
it was time to head back down and over the creek to catch up with Team Steel at the end of the morning session. But as luck would have it, Team Steel had spotted yet another group of deer that crossed the gully to close the gap on a couple of bucks that they'd seen on the tree line. As bad luck would have it, or as Murphy would say, or bad things strike three times, Rowan, unfortunately, had a gun malfunction and couldn't close the deal. But he did manage to find this deadhead and between the two of them, they hatched a plan to break the spirits of Team Hurls. Yeah. You know what's worse than walking up a hill? Oh. I don't know. Get your deer. What's that? Yeah. You've seen this look before the disappointed hunter. And if you listen closely, I'm pretty sure you can hear Team Hurl's hearts break. <laughs> but it wasn't to be, deadheads don't count. And it was coming down to the wire as we headed into the last session of the day. Hi. Hi. G'day. We're back at camp. We're um, all beaten, bruised and feeling sorry for ourselves, but we're back at camp having something to eat, getting ready for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. How's the morning? It's good, eh? It was good, very good. It was cold this morning. Um, must have frosty in places. Saw plenty deer. Had a couple shots of deer. Missed a few deer. Um, and came back empty handed. What did you see? Uh, we saw probably 20 fallow, of which four bucks. Uh, not all in one group. We saw a group of <coughs> five or six, was that five or six does with a buck. Sure, yeah. Then we saw another group of five or six. Um, and then we went around the corner, we saw about 20 goats. Um, and then we dropped down to another gully, we saw two bucks holding some does, um, tried to get a shot for one of those and unfortunately Ryan missed. Went around the corner, saw another buck, um, at about 25 meters, just didn't have enough time to get a shot off before he ran off. And apart from a couple of other goats, that's all we've seen today. How did you go? Well, I had a good chuckle on the hill when I realized you missed. <laughs> 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 we heard the shots and we're like, oh no, God, there's only one thing they're going to be shooting at this time in the morning, it's going to be deer. And um, yeah, we were a bit concerned, but um, yeah, the follow-up text, uh, text um, cheered our spirits back up when we realized that it, was, um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't to be. Uh, we did we, we did really well. We um, we busted, busted our asses up and down this huge gully. But um, it was well worth it. We um, bumped into a fallow buck. It's the only deer we saw today. Um, you guys are getting on it. You're seeing way more animals than we are. Um, not sure why. Don't think about that. But um, we saw this one fellow buck of oh, 40 to 50 meters max. But unfortunately, it was skylined. We were way down below it looking up at it and it was skyline and there was just no way we could let a round off at it even though john had it squarely in the in the um in the sights um just yeah it, it would it was the worst skyline situation you could possibly be in so we had to let it run um so that was a bit of a shame but really awesome to see it first time john has seen um uh, a deer in the in the headlights in the scope in the scope yeah so that was pretty good. Uh, we marched on for quite a while. We covered a heap of country, lots of gorge country. Um, heard lots of goats. Heard lots of different groups of goats that we just couldn't get onto them. That that gorge is hell it's steep. steep. It's, it's steep. Steep. Yeah, crazy steep. So um, we tried real hard, and then um, we ended up getting bluffed out. So we, we walked a long, long way along um, the main gully, and we got bluffed out. So we had to get back up and over the ridge. It just happened to be on the other side of the ridge. So there was a paddock. And in that paddock, there was a billy. So we uh, lined up to have a look at that billy, and it sort of trotted off out of sight. So um, we couldn't get him, but um, there was a nanny there. So um, we had to go at the nanny, and bam, we're on the court. We've evened it up. Mm. Right, so it's um, Saturday afternoon. We've got a hunt session tonight. We've got potentially a hunt session <coughs> tomorrow morning if we need it. Oh, and morning will happen, whether it's a 
to look for deer or whether it's going to bash a pig or two or three. Yeah, so man, there's so like, many pigs. Well, it depends. We might be celebrating tonight and have a sleep in. So yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, sleeping would have been nice this morning. Sorry, it was hard getting out of bed. But it's all right. So, yep, we're on, we're on the board. It's all evened up. We're out tonight. Hopefully, we, we close the slam out tonight. Um, we've up the stakes. Um, we're throwing in a, um, a butchery kit knives and game bags and those sorts of things to whichever one of these fellas managed to close the deal out tonight. Um, that'd be good. Looking forward to being able to give that to Hendo. Thanks, man. Pop up, mate. Yeah. Shot. Sure. Anyway, that's us. Uh, that's the update for, for the morning. Right? Yeah, let's see how we get this afternoon. Yep, we'll check back in. Catch us later. See you guys. And with a few friendly parting words, we were back at it again. See ya, Lizards. Team Steel head back into familiar territory to see how many deer they could miss this session. But, as is the inevitable, more pigs. And then, just on the other side of the gully, more goats. This place was crawling with animals. Meanwhile, on the other side of the property, Team Hurls had decided on a sit and wait strategy, taking the high ground with 270 degree views and visibility over a couple of nice dams. And as is so often the case, with the last light fading, a lone spiker came into view, making its way quickly across the open country. With the spiker quartering away from its initial broadside position and showing nervous signs of it not waiting around, Team Hurls took like what seemed to be a good chance to slip the 180 grain SMB projectile in behind the back rib and into the vital. There isn't a lot left to say. As the sunset dropped over the young buck, Endo and I air punched, high fived and enjoyed the moment. The slam was an awesome weekend and a wonderful way to hunt three mainstay Australian game species with a couple of new hunters. A great experience for them and a great experience for Jono and I. This was what the hunter's campfire is all about. Oh, there is something else to say. <laughs> Team hurls for the win. Suck it, steel.